I'm about to welcome to my channel Africa every day. For this episode, I'll be making a German soup. Yes, as simple as that. <laughs> a German soup. I received the package all the way from Jana by a lovely woman. So, in the package, we have different flavors of powder soup that are contained in the package. And now, luckily, everything is in German. Everything is in German. Luckily for me, the woman was very kind enough to attach an English translation of how they are to be cooked. So, I'll be cooking one of the flavors today. I will cook one of the flavors today. And now I'm going to eat it in a way it is traditionally eaten in Europe. Mr. Mike was kind enough to explain how soup is traditionally eaten in Europe. And believe me, that is very, very contrary to what we use soup here in Nigeria. In fact, if anybody sees me <laughs> eating soup like they used to do it in Europe, they'll think that it's, it's like uh, something is wrong with this guy. This guy is not okay mentally. So, you know, spreading butter and now uh, a slice of bread before dipping it in the soup this is very weird so i'm going to try that and i'm also going to try i'm going to show you how we consume soup traditionally in nigeria and i hope you enjoy this spia thanks to my patrons for sponsoring my channel thank you so much for making all this possible thank you i'm paper to take it and also my viewers and those who really like my videos and also comment thank you so much i'm grateful to all of you you are the best i can ever thank you now especially the one and only the main pillar of this the main man the main man my director my producer my advisor my almost everything thank you so much mr michael Tomishu. a very wonderful man the truth is that i'll i owe him a lot and i can never thank him enough all right what i'm wearing for today's episode this is called agbada yes and this is what i wore during my wedding i wore during my wedding I'm still, I'm still compiling our resources on my videos about the different traditional attires that we have in Nigeria. I'm just uh, just to give you a little bit of trailer. This is a trailer. So I'm going to be talking about all the traditional attires and also be showing you and also be wearing some of them. So luckily I have the Agbada. I, I wore this during my wedding. Yes, this is what I put up, and I really love to call this Agbada, and this is how we use it to show our swagger. This is how we use it. It's a very lovely, I'm very, very proud of it. I'm very, very proud of it. All right, let's go into the kitchen. All right, these are the different flavors of the soup that we have. Uh, I can't pronounce this, uh, but I'm very, very sure. Uh, no English pronunciation here too. This is, a, this is soup. I know this. From uh, from Google translation and also the all right we have our base I think this one is hog steel one of them is hog steel so we have uh, no no is a popular stocky brand in Nigeria and also Maggi in fact Maggi is the first stocky brand in Nigeria so Maggi is a very very popular uh, stocky in Nigeria so we have the same Maggi. So I'll be going with the uh, with meat dumpling because uh, it contains semolina. I think this one is semolina, and semolina is a stodgy food that is uh, that is also common in Nigeria. So this is what I'll be preparing. This flow that I'll be I'll be preparing, and the instruction is right there. And others in the coming videos I'll be preparing them too. So the first instruction is that I'll I'm to pour 750 milliliter of water into a pot and i have my measuring cup my measuring cup is uh <clears throat> if you look close, closely is 250 milliliter my measuring cup that means uh, i'm to add three you know three times 250 that'll give us 750 that's to be precise i love following instruction to the to its precision Oh, 750 milliliter water right there so the next thing is for me to boil it after it's boiled i'll now i'll pour the powder the powder of the soup inside and still stay if i've said it for like uh for like let's say two three minutes then i'll reduce the heat to the lowest and now i like it to simmer while i'll be intermittently stirring it thank you very much for sending this packet to me i'm very, very grateful to you francisca Thank you for your love and others too have been sending this packet. So I'm going to allow this water to boil before I'll add the soup powder. Okay, now uh, the water is boiled now. 
So I want to add the soup now, the powder soup. Oh, let me increase, let me reduce the heat. I can smell the aroma. Look at that before I put it inside. Then I'm to reduce the heat and start stirring. This is our stirrer, we call it Morogo. I have to be stirring it. Ah, I can't wait to taste it. I can't wait to describe <laughs> to describe my experience to you. I'm going to have European soup without leaving the shore of my country. Our president has banned Twitter, so Twitter has been banned <laughs> by Nigeria <the year> president. <laughs> they don't know the next thing to do. The man is clueless. Clueless, wicked, and selfish. Okay, it is well stirred now, so I'm going to leave it on. I've reduced the heat to the lowest, so I'm going to leave it on for five minutes. Thank God I have uh, a wristwatch that has uh, a timer, so I'm going to go on now on five minutes now. We have my timer right here, so I'll start my timer for five minutes, then I'll cover it, but within five minutes, I'll still be staring it uh, occasionally. That is what the instruction says. All right, it is done now. The next thing is now for me to allow it to cool down. So it's now time for me to enjoy. I have my bread. Oh, we have my sliced bread. This is sliced bread. Then I, ha I have my butter. Mr. Mike explained that uh, soup traditionally by Europeans is enjoyed with uh, bread and butter. And now uh, he said that if uh, it's a formal settings you love and later you can apply the the body to the to the bread but he said an informal settings like home you can take the sliced bread and apply your butter and now the buttered bread you dip it inside your soup and you enjoy it so i'll be trying the two method and i'll, I'll be explaining my experience to you all right uh let me try the first one all right before that I'll just take the soup first. Yes, my tongue is is calling for it. All right, my first experience, my first experience with the European soup. So this is special to me. So I have to savor it. Wow, not bad, honestly. It's like nothing I've ever tasted before, but it's not bad at all. Not even strange. It's like uh, the aftertaste is the best. When you first uh, put it on your tongue, it will, it will seem as if it's too, too, it is too salty. Then later you discover that it's not too salty at all. Everything is in moderation. Uh, it's somehow close to our melon seed soup here. You have melon seed soup, which I've made videos about it uh, in, in the past. Like, like combining melon seed soup and uh, pepper soup. We have what we call pepper soup in Nigeria. It's usually used for your drink, uh, consume along with drinking uh, beer. So that's exactly how it is. Oh, now, let me take the semolina now. Well, our own semolina here. We make it into, we make it like eba, then we swallow it whole, so we don't chew it. So I don't know the difference. We don't chew our own semolina here. You know, when you take bolos, bolos of it, you put it in jibu de bine soup, which I'm going to show you. So the sliced bread now. So I'm dipping it inside now. Wow. Ah. Uh, I don't find it pleasant at all. <laughs> Probably our bread is not designed for this. The combination is not pleasant at all. I wouldn't like this. In fact, I prefer to be eating the bread alone. Uh, it's not pleasant at all. It is uh, very dull and uh, unflavored. Like uh, something is party flavored. I won't go for that. That one is not good enough. I won't go for that. All right, let me try the buttered now. Before I continue, 
Special thanks to Mr. Mike for sponsoring this video. He's the one that sponsored this video and also my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me. Okay, now let me apply the body now. Oh God. Uh, Blue band has changed their bottle. This one is a, uh, it's not a uh, buttery. It's not smooth enough. It's not easy to spread. But this one is an old one. New blue band butter now. It is easier to spread it uh, on bread now. All right. So I want to try this. Aha. Uh -huh. I think. The butter made it to be to be yummy. Yes, it's like how uh, the butter counteracts some of the ingredients in the soup. It's now yummy with the butter spread on it. So, if I were European, it's the formal setting or informal setting. I'll surely be spreading butter over my bread before dipping it into soup. Yes, that's the way. I'll be eating my soup and bread. If you think I should have eaten it in any other way apart from this way that I'm eating it, please let me know in the comment section below. I still have three more. I still have three more part of soup which I'm going to learn from. So, oh, it's far far better. Okay. Now, what we call soup in Nigeria? is we'll only use soup to eat our sturdy food like our eba amala semo fufu and yon that's all the exception to that is pepper soup and pepper soup is not traditionally our food so that's only ex our exception so i'll be eating this european soup now with fufu i got my fufu right here all right this is my fufu <laughs> and i'm going to take my bolus all this my bolos try it with the uh, european soup dipping it for the first time and see how it tastes oh just like our uh, jerry rig everything not too shabby well let me take the semo I think they, they combine relatively well. For European soup, they combine relatively well. So, I can still eat this very well. I really enjoy this. Francisca from Germany, thank you so much for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. I enjoy the soup. It's, it's a brand new experience for me. It's a brand new experience and now <laughs> I'm loving it more. Seriously. I've never left the shore of Nigeria, but it seems as if uh, uh, I've been to many countries. So I'm enjoying this. Thank you so much uh, for sending this to me. I'm one of the luckiest men on earth right now. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave some for my wife. Because she's going to taste it too. She has been wanting to taste it. I'll give it to my daughter too, to see if she like it, I? <laughs> but I really doubt it. All right, I really enjoyed this episode, and uh, special thanks to Mr. Mike Atomic Strength and also other patrons. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed this. Diana, Francisca, thank you very much. I really enjoyed this. My our patrons, I can never thank you enough. And uh, my viewers, if you know, if you want to become my patron. The link will be in the description of the video. Thank you so much. See you next time.